sisters until the night one of them came for me. That night I died, but only for a moment. No longer human. The world had changed. All that mattered was the thirst. So my creator taught me to feed, to hunt. But man fought back, armed with hate and fear. They put him down like a beast. I had to find refuge, a sanctuary, a place to begin my quest for vengeance. What's up guys? Lore here and today we're taking a look at just the tip of Dark Legends. This is a uh, like a vampire MMO that is on uh, it's on mobile platforms. It's available for both iOS and Android. It's a free download. Uh, I'm sure there is some sort of in-app purchases. I don't really know just yet. Uh, I'm sure there is though. Uh, and yeah, it's an MMO. It's by uh, Space Time Studios, uh, which uh, they've done a bunch of other stuff in the past. So. Uh, relatively well-known developer. Uh, let's find out what's going on here. All right. Like I said, it is available on both iOS and Android. Let's see different animations they can do here. All right. Let's uh, let's pick us a name here. Uh, let's go ahead and call this person uh, Redfinger. Yeah. Good enough. Uh, customize. See what sort of character customization options we have. Can do different hairstyles. It's like only a few different hairstyles. Uh, can I? Oh, I can change her face also. Damn. You creepy girl. All right. Let's do. Uh, let's do the giant afro. Why not? And play. Your dark journey begins. Carvina City, avenge your master's murder and become the most powerful vampire in Carvina. Start on 13th Street. Okay. Uh, play missions to defeat enemies, earn experience, and get loot. Tap on the 13th Street mission to get started. All right. Fight the zombies on 13th Street. Tap play solo. Oh, what was that all about? Apparently, I just decided to dash somewhere. Okay, use the joystick or tap where you want to go to, or move. Oh, okay, so I can tap around, like with Hero's Call, or there's a joystick that I can use, so that's good. Use your swords to deal with them. Hold your device like this to unleash maximum vampire. Okay, so it's telling me how to hold my phone. Yeah, thanks, I know that. Notice how there's a ping in the, the lower left corner. I've got a relatively high ping, which is a bit strange. Uh, but it does mean that I'm actually on and connected to their servers right now, which is cool. So far, it's very hack and slashy. Well done. To complete the mission, stand still in the glyph. What if I want to kill this rat instead? Alright, stand still in the glyph. Bam. These zombies are destroyed. Let's see if there are any in Club Sanctuary. So I got one Batman and 75 gold. That's good. I've unlocked a new power. Unleash a whirlwind of death on your enemies. Gain three attack points, three defense points. Uh, I've leveled up. Okay. So it looks like the leveling up is automatic. Turn to the map for mission two. Play and use your new vampiric powers. Play solo. And off I go once again. So, so far, very, very hack and slash. Oh, there's my new power that I just got. Uh, let's find some, some zombies and see what happens when I do that. Oh. Did I charge to them? Is that what happened? Combo. Nice. Uh, I'm not sure what that actually does. When the mouth opens, tap the skull to feed on the enemy and completely refill your health. Oh, damn! That's pretty cool. Alright, that's definitely just some sort of point blank attack. Doesn't look like it's really anything more to it than that. Got myself some gold there. I'm not going to stand still on that just yet. I'm going to explore a little bit more first. So 
So, I'm going to be honest, I downloaded this because I was like, you know what, I've played entirely too many really good games. This one sounds kind of goofy, so let's play a game that sounds like it's going to be goofy, but actually, so far, this actually seems pretty good. Alright, let's jump out of here. Now, I really want to know... Club Sanctuary is ours again. Yeah, I got one Batman and 75 gold. Now, I really want to know... Oh, time for your first boss fight. Hello! Alright, let's see how boss fights go. Uh, that must be the boss's health. Um, this thing over here. That must be the boss's health. Let's head up over here. Is that moving? It is moving. Alright. Alright, Mr. Ghost. What are you? Walter something or other. Tap the health bobble to heal using a blow. Oh, I have health now. I apparently didn't before. Just stab him as much as I can. Boss dropped a weapon. Walk over it to put it in your inventory. Receive Chris Knives of Durability. Alright. Uh, how do I access my inventory? Maybe I can't from here? Let's let's leave and we'll see what happens. Defeated your first boss, the Shadow Council will be very pleased. Level up, you gain three attack points, three defense points, new power, Shadow Dance. Quickly charge attack at the nearest enemy, nice. You will need some help on your journey, time to meet with one of your many allies. Allies give you gold, experience, and special items by doing jobs for you. The gems dealer will give you a new gem when their job's complete. Okay. Choose which gem you'd like your ally to cut for you. Uh, shadow chip, beast chip, moon chip. What are the difference? Oh, three defense. Three defense. Three. Okay, none. they're all the same. Well, all right. Spend four Batmans and some gold on that. Takes time for your ally to complete a job. You can tap on any busy ally. Never mind, it's done. Okay. Tap to collect the rewards. You're now made, ready to move on to Kane's Crest. And I got four Batmans back. <clears throat> Play multiplayer option unlocked. Tap on this book to bring up your goals. A plus means that you have a new goal. Do the Rotting Baron mission. All right. Play this mission with help from other players online now. All right, well, let's see how this goes. Let's see how the multiplayer works. If the multiplayer is good, then I am thoroughly impressed. So far, I'm actually enjoying this quite a bit from the hack side. Oh, me and Queen Ivy and Azagriffa are in here. Gotta go find these guys. Is that, is that somebody up over there? I see little little white dots in the upper left. I think they're just way up. Oh, there's Queen Ivy. Queen, Queen Ivy is a dude. Alright. What's Azagriffa doing? What's up, Azagriffa? We're just running around here. Oh, there's some guys there. Charge. Yeah. Killing people left and right. What is that? Blood chip of onslaught. Oh, there's a chest. It's in the chest. Gold. Everybody got gold when I opened that, too. That's cool. Oh, zombie! Successfully killed the zombie. Getting me some gold. As well as my teammates. So that's cool. Everybody gets gold. Everybody's in it together. Oh, there's a boss! A mini boss or something. Yeah! Feasting on somebody. Alright. Uh, well, looks like we cleaned that room up. I'm suddenly fast. I don't know why, but I'm suddenly fast. Are we done? Oh, is there a... It's got the Shadow Dance achievement. Please take a moment to register. Okay, I'll do that in a minute. Oh, okay, so there's like a chat up over there. I received Blood Chip of Onslaught, and now I can leave. Well, that was actually really seamless. That Baron was turned before you could get to him. He must have known too much. Would you like to continue to the next mission in this campaign and return to the map? Let's go back to the map for a second. I want to poke around a little bit more. See what's going on over here. 
So Zombie Street is next. What's this flashing thing? Nightly reward. Log in and play every day to get a free mystery prize on day five. All right. Activate nightly reward. So there's day one. Okay, so every day on day five you get something. And it looks like you get something a little bit along there too. Uh, do the zombie street mission. Okay, speak with Alma Vazquez and complete her 24-hour job. That Baron was my mentor, and I appreciate you trying to help him. I don't have his knowledge, but I will do everything I can to help you out. All right, so earn some fast cash. 30 seconds. But I'm supposed to complete her 24-hour job. So let's check the goals. Maybe I have to come in here. Uh, oh, wait. One day. There it is. Search the Baron's belongings. All right. Let's start on that. It's going to take her 24 hours to do that. So that's kind of cool. It gives you a reason to, to log back in. I gotta say, so far I'm actually really impressed with this. Alright, what's going on up here? Energy. Okay, so it looks like I do have uh, time remaining for energy fill. One minute and some odd seconds. Uh, that might be their way of sort of limiting playtime to get you to buy more, because you can buy it with silver coins. I'm assuming that's what that is. You can buy experience. Okay. I guess, I guess if it's purely cooperative, I don't really have a problem with that. Buy gold. And there we go. Here's buying platinum. You use buy platinum. You buy platinum. Excuse me. Buy platinum to get stuff. Ten platinum for two bucks. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so it's ten platinum for two bucks. That means uh, every one platinum is what? Uh, stupid math. And I can't even pull out my calculator because my calculator is on my phone. Uh, that means it's a dollar for every five platinum, which means twenty cents per platinum. Okay. So what was this? Uh, so that's Ooh, giving me five energy is uh, uh, would that be sixty cents. Well, let's see what happens when this finishes. Two seconds, one second. All right, I got a little bit more energy. So apparently, I get twenty-five energy. I'm guessing every time I do something that uh, uses an energy, it takes five minutes for an energy to refill. So that that's my guess. There, that's how that that's gonna work. Uh, so let's go on and do the next mission. Let's play Chance to Loot This Legendary Item. Uh, okay, well, let's play multiplayer. Why not? Let's see who I can see who I can hook up with here in Dark Legends. It's Azaxki and Azadilt. Alright. Find these guys here. Oh, it looks like Azadilt died. Maybe. Oh, I can use that to move quickly even when I'm not... I can close this. Oh, good. Stops them from spawning. Oh, no, as adults, fine. Oh, never mind. As adults, dead. Oh, and I got morning stars of armor. I need to figure out how to use those. And a beast chip of onslaught. I'm gonna follow Azakski up over here. Man, the blood splashing on the screen is kind of awesome. Kill everything. Alright. Well that that was an amount of things that happened. It's up over here. Raul Mannheim. I'm gonna eat him. I don't wanna leave you yet. Shadow Chip of Onslaught. Let's see what's going on over here. Get some gold. Alright. So the missions all seem relatively straightforward, but still fun. It's some, some nice little hack and slash action. I need to figure out how to equip these different weapons that I'm getting though. The smell and feel of the dirt on the zombies' clothes tells you these are freshly risen undead. There's only one place that they could have come from. Miami. Possibly Detroit. Leveled up. New power point available next level. You unlock new items. Try your luck at getting legendary gear in a pack. What? Let's go to the shop. What is... what? Okay, so you get platinum. I apparently have 10 platinum that I can spend on stuff. But apparently it just wants me to try buying a pack. 
Uh, okay, here we go. This is how I equip things too. Is in the on the store screen apparently. So we'll equip those. Can I sell things? Yes, I can. Uh, oh, the they actually have one less attack, but they've got a lot more defense and health and everything than what I've got right now. Okay, so I'm gonna sell this other stuff. Sell that. What we got going on here? Can I? How do I equip? Or do I equip these? Right. Equip the blood ship of onslaught. Uh. All right. Apparently, I just have one of those equipped. Oh, you have different, different shadow chips or different types of chips. I see. So moon gems, beast chip of onslaught. Okay. So I've got. Uh. Load out. To name and save the look of your current character. All right. Loadout name is uh, Butts. Excuse me. Butts, not Bits. Butts. Save. Oops. All right. Oh, I can buy vanity items. Or I can, I can have vanity items. I guess I haven't found any yet. But I can get them. So, okay, so, randomly receive one gem and a chance at the limited edition Iron Hand Top, Iron Hand Hat, or Iron Hand something, okay. Can buy different bundles. Servant's Outfit, Japanese Outfit, Retro Outfit. Nice, so there's actually a lot of different, uh, cosmetic stuff that you can buy. Damn, girl. Oh, I didn't realize I was still grouped up with those guys some of these different outfits here. Damn, girl! Damn, girl! Alright. So, let's see. 50, 50 platinum for that. We decided it was, what, 20 cents per platinum? So, that'd be, uh... 10 bucks, basically, for that. If I'm doing that math properly. 10 bucks, and you, too, can look like a slut. That, that seems worth it to me. Or, you know, just... Damn, look at the... Look at that. That ass! Damn! Alright. Uh, you guys, I might I might need a minute here. Just, um... Just, just pretend, like, just don't, don't look. Just don't look. You can buy shirts. Oh, you can buy these for gold. Awesome! So you can actually get cosmetic stuff without necessarily having to spend money. That is awesome. Find something, something awesome in here. Elegant top, colonial top, militant top. That's kind of cool. Raver top. All right. Look at a bunch of this stuff. Damn, damn. That, that is. I'm pretty sure that type of clothing is actually illegal. Okay, that is kind of awesome. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't even know. I don't know if I can technically show that on YouTube. <laughs> All right, and get some different pants. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. This is all cosmetic stuff too. Uh, I guess is an important thing to point out. This is all cosmetic. It's, it seems like the weapons and the chips are your gear in this game, and uh, this other stuff over here is all. Uh, uh, cosmetic. And you buy this with gold. Damn! Damn! Alright. Well, that's officially pretty awesome, actually. Okay, some hats are platinum, but... What? The gambler's hat apparently just sticks out of my fro. That's kind of awesome. Casual hat. Biker helmet. Nice. Tracksuit hood. Wow, there's there are just lots of options in here. This is pretty freaking sweet. Oh, is there no is there no cyber goth hat? That makes me disappointed. And then elixirs. Uh double armor damage and plus twenty five percent speed for thirty minutes. Alright, well let's let's get out of the store here. Oops. I guess I need to come back over here. Then I can leave. Uh, let's go back to the map. I want to figure out how to get back to that store. Is it under the menu? Yes, there it is. Okay. There's inventory as well. 
uh, map layer. Go complete, go to your layer and view the different tabs there. Okay, so you, you do get powers that you can spend on different stuff. Uh, I can disable the auto leveling. Auto leveling is only enabled on brand new characters. Once you turn this off, you'll never have the option to turn it on. Okay, so you can turn that off. Okay, that's cool. Different achievements. Uh, leaderboard. What? CTF? Really? There's actually a CTF in this game? Are you are you kidding me? Are you are you serious right now? CTF and deathmatch. There's actually PVP in this. All right, I need to. I desperately need to figure out how to get into the PVP. Is that something that I can't can't do just yet? I want to be disappointed. Let's look at social. Uh, my friends, requests, ignore. Damn. So it sounds like there is actually PvP in this game. Let's see what John Cathaway has to say. Uh, do I have a goal for him? Start job. Go for it. Oh, I see. So doing the jobs is what seems to actually lower my energy. Because I was at full energy. Uh, oh, okay, so the Batmans are experience. Alright, I'm glad to know what that is, finally. I think I, I think I looked at that before and it just hadn't occurred to me. Alright, well, let's do one more mission and then we'll call this good. Uh, we'll play it multiplayer. <laughs> Definitely very impressed with this. This is a lot, a lot more impressive than I thought it was going to be. Flunaflas. Find us some somethings to kill. Head up over this way. Bam! Kicking ass. I don't think we need to be over there, Fluna Flas. Let's head back this way. Beating dudes up. Blood ship of onslaught. Starting to kind of get hurt a little bit. But it's cool. In a second I'll be able to do the skull thing. There we go. Oh, maybe not. Curved daggers of onslaught. Need to find... Uh, oh, Kel Kalina has joined us. Ah, My red skull appears to have worn off. crap out of these guys. Ow, get my ass beat. Need to be able to do the thing. Do it. Yeah. Heal myself back to full. That's a neat little mechanic. Oh, guess I'll blow that up in my face. Beating these guys up. Left and right. Kicking ass. These morning stars are pretty awesome. At least I think they are. I guess I actually can't tell very well. Can I beat up those things? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, what's going on over here? Alfred Rorschach got his ass beat. Claret Shard of Hardiness. Get the rest of this gold around here. Seems to only go up to three players. Which is fine. Right, looks like that's about it. Let's get out of here. You successfully destroyed the ghouls, but who sent them and who was it that ordered their destruction? If only your master was alive to impart his knowledge to you. Would you like to continue the next mission in the map, or this campaign, or return to the map? I want to go back to the map. And uh, I'm going to call this good. Let's see what the grave man has to say. We'll start his one day job. And uh, yeah, we're going to call that. Yeah, we're working on that already. All right. Sounds good. So yeah, I am I am thoroughly impressed with this game. It's uh, It actually is quite a bit of fun. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. I'm going to be keeping this, around, this one around. And I'm going to be playing it some more. Especially if it has 
uh, that PvP multiplayer. I really, really wish I could figure out how to get into that. Um, is it under layer or something? Like, I really wish. Maybe I have to have registered my account or something to be able to get into it. I'm not sure. I'm going to try to figure that out. But uh, definitely going to be messing with this game some more. I'm really, really curious about that multiplayer. And the free-to-play model honestly seems okay. Doesn't seem to be too bad at all. It's certainly something that could prove to be worse later on. But so far, it just really doesn't seem too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to give this game... I'm going to give it a full five. I'm, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. I, I think I'll be playing some more of this one in the future. Uh, so once again, this has been Dark Legends. It's available on both the iOS App Store and the Google Play Store for uh, totally free. You download it and it's completely free. It does have microtransactions in-game, but they don't seem to be too bad. Honestly, it seems to be seems to be pretty well put together. Something that you can spend some money on if you really want to get super serious about it, but uh, otherwise you don't have to. Uh, yeah, I've uh, been enjoying it quite a bit. Uh, I suppose I should mention once again, it's by uh, Space Time Studios. They have done some other stuff in the past. Um, let's actually look and see what else have they actually done. Uh, what other games has Space Time Studios done? I'm not actually finding anything here real quick. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, Pocket Legends was another game that they did. Star Legends. So they've got a, they've got a few different games that are out and available. Uh, mostly MMOs. So I guess uh, I guess. All right, good on you. Maybe I'll have to check out, check out some of those other ones at some point. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Lore, and I'll see you later.